I am not an educated typeface designer. I didn't study typeface design, but I, I, I studied typography. In the beginning, there was a university, and my um, important professor was very uh, into typography and uh, brought the, the love to the typeface and typeface design. What, what shape is better? This one or is it this one? I have no idea. Maybe this is more goes down to the button, it's more square and this is more round here. Mm. I'm not sure. I think this is too big, too, too fat. I think this form is not perfect. But you can decide just looking on your screen like that? Or? Yeah, I can, yeah, I can also I can print it. Maybe this has to go in this way. Oh yeah, yeah much better. <laughs> I prefer the typeface who fits for the thing what you want to say in, with your graphic work. And, um, and so if, if we work for children, I need a typeface what it is in a way a little bit childish. And uh, if we work for, for a bank, so we need another typeface and I like to design both of them. I think all the, all the graphic design is interesting what works, um, what tries to get an emotional um, uh, contact to the, to the reader. And um, as, I, as I said, uh, my, my kind of typeface designer is not uh, to make it perfect, but maybe to, to leave it in an unperfect way. Because I think if, if the typeface has something emotional, what speaks to the, to the reader, it, it uh, is uh, more, uh, you can it easier to remember about the typeface. Much of the work you cannot earn, earn money in the cultural field, for instance, but if you or, or in the children's field. But if you want to work for them, though you have uh, to have a client who pays a little bit more, maybe. What we like is that the, that the clients are so different, and it is a political party, and it is a small one-person company. The important thing is that we find a, a characteristic way to to tell the story of the client. This is a typeface. What is, what is um, uh, maybe you can say it's common, but um, but uh, you, I draw on one of the things. What I think it's important that the typeface is not very correct, and you find mistakes uh, in the in the letters. So maybe little things. What are little mistakes to um, to make it more than that it would be uh, drawn by a children, maybe. This is one family and always, uh, for me, it's interesting to have different forms, not, not, not so interesting uh, to have uh, different um, shapes, as uh, the whites. Uh, this is a typeface what we, um, what we did for, um, for a pitch for the expo in Shanghai, yeah. but we didn't do one. <laughs> so I have this, this typeface left for the next client who comes. I like the, uh, the typeface designs from Alessio Leonardi because he has a very uh, uh, similar way to go. It's also mostly, not imp imp uh, mostly imperfect and uh, I also like the work of Letterer yeah. and um, because also they play a lot with forms and with uh, interesting uh, happening uh, things. I like to have it, uh, to have it in, in such a corrupt way. So maybe you see the A is also here, mistakes, and there mistakes, mistakes. So this is the idea of the typeface. A good idea is to start with a D, because if you have the D, you maybe also have a little bit the P yes. and maybe the Q. So let's see you hate the most. I can't tell you uh, absolutely what the, the most hated is the S. S don't work never. It is, uh, so you look at this type, at this S, it is a good example for a mis, misworking S. It is not Good. You see, this is totally corrupt. This, this shape 
looks at, then someone has punished it nights in the streets and an S is ah an S is, an S is, is un, undoable.